Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video we're going to be talking about how to use SAS in VS Code. So, first of all, what is SAS? So, SAS is a CSS preprocessor, and it helps do things that you really can't do with CSS, or that are very complicated to do with CSS. And so it has features that don't really exist in CSS yet, such as nesting, mixins, inheritance, um, if-else statements and a lot of other things added in there. So in this tutorial, we're just gonna look at how to start using it with VS Code. So first, let's take a look at what I have here. I have a HTML document, very simple with a title, a link to main.css. As you can see, main.css does not yet exist here in our directory listing. And then we have a body and a div. And then I have main.scss, this is the SAS file. It doesn't yet have anything in it. So in order to start using SAS, you're going to have to get an extension. So just search up SAS Live Compiler. I already have that open. And then just click on Live SAS Compiler and you can install it. I already have it installed. So once that's installed, then I believe you're going to need to restart your VS Code browser. Then you can click on Watch SAS. So let's click on watch SAS. What this does is it will watch your SAS file and then automatically update it once you save it and save it within main.css. So hop into your main.scss and let's start using some of SAS's uh, properties. So first let's create a variable. We'll call this variable color. So color and we'll set that to brown. So this is how you create a SAS variable. You have the dollar sign, then the name of the variable, then a colon, then whatever you want to set the variable to. Now we can save that. If we hop into main.css, as you can see, nothing yet appears because we haven't used that variable to do anything. So let's start changing the body. So if we say body background color and Instead of setting that to a color that's already here, we can just set that to the variable we created earlier. So dollar sign color. And if we save that, then reload, as you can see, the background has been changed. And if we go to main.css, it has the same code, but without the variable, it just has brown. So now let's do some stuff with the div. So if we say div, let's first set the border, so border, Two pixels solid black then let's set the width and the height so width will be 200 pixels we'll set the height as well to 200 pixels let's save this okay so now we have our div here now let's create an if statement so let's say if and this is how you create one you just need an at symbol with if with a statement if and then without any parentheses or anything else, just write down the statement. So if, let's say color is equal to brown, then we'll set the background color of the div to, I don't know, let's just say aqua. And then we can use an else statement. So if color is anything else, then background color will be set to green. Now if we save this, as you can see it's been set to aqua because our color variable has been set to brown. And so if we change this to yellow, then as you can see now, the background of the body turns to yellow, while the background of the div turns to green because color isn't brown. And there are just countless things you can do with SCSS that you just can't do with normal CSS. And this has just been a very basic tutorial on how to get started using that within VS Code. I hope you've enjoyed. This has been Steam Code, and I'll see you next time.